Hi everyone, today I'll be showing you how to install Raspberry Pis on a desktop PC or a virtual machine without the needs of an actual physical Pi which is expensive. So Raspberry Pi offers a desktop version of their OS which lets users use their OS with free will on their desktop PCs. So first off, we're gonna be starting with installing VirtualBox. Well, I already have VirtualBox on my machine so I don't really have to install it anymore. So for you to install VirtualBox, just click download and then click the Windows host and then it should download that. I'm gonna cancel this one as I already have my own virtual box. So next thing that we're gonna do is download the image or the ISO file for the operating system of Raspberry Pi desktop. So go to the site of Raspberry Pi which is this. Oh by the way all links will be provided in the description down below. So go to the site of Raspberry Pi and then go to the software right down below the site click download Raspberry Pi desktop and then here just scroll down again and then you'll find a download button let's click that and it should now download the image OS of the Raspberry Pi desktop so we're gonna be waiting for this it might take a long while since this one is a large file 4 gig to be exact I mean 3 gig to be exact so I'll see you in a while now after the download is finished you can now see that the file is in my downloads folder so what are we gonna do now so first is open your virtual box right there and then create the new OS so here and the ISO image we will select the ISO file that we've downloaded on the Raspberry Pi site earlier so click that and then it will automatically detect what version that OS is so as you can see it's a Debian type of Linux and a 64-bit one so here I'm gonna choose a name so let's say it's uh, Pi OS so here we're gonna be choosing a host name more likely the username of the OS so let's say admin so I'm not really gonna change the password anymore since it's the default one already so if you would like to change it then you're free to do so then next is hardware I'm not really gonna change anything here so if you like to tweak some things here like tweak the base memory allocated for the virtual box you're gonna create and for the processors you can adjust this how many cores you're gonna be provi providing to, the, to your OS uh, you're free to do so so same as well in the hard disk tab so now that we're done I'm gonna click finish now it should initialize and load up the Parrot OS that we installed earlier so I'm gonna close the browser for a while now if this like warning showed up to your virtual box and just safely close and power off the machine for now and then go to the click the Pi OS item and click its settings and then go to the storage tab and then click the unattended one here and then here there's a small disk or CD CD-ROM icon click that and then choose a disk file and then locate the Raspberry Pi image that we've downloaded earlier so 
I've already located mine so here it is so I'm gonna click this then press ok and then press start so now here you have the option to run with persistence uh, graphical install and install without graphics so the best option here for me is to install it with a GUI so I can see better what's happening under the hood when it's installing the OS so uh, I'm gonna press enter on the graphic install so here I'm gonna select the keyboard language so uh, as you can see British English is the default so I'm that's what I'm gonna choose now so here you are asked to choose how will you partition your disk so since we are only just in virtual box then I'm just gonna choose what is the default option here so it pointed me on the guided use entire disk option so I'll be opting with that uh, option so I'll click continue click continue again and then click continue again and then finally click continue to finish partitioning the disk so here you're gonna have to press yes and then click continue now it might ask about how do you want to install your grub bootloader and then for this you're just gonna have to click continue and then click the disk option here right below the enter device manual then click continue there you have it raspberry pi installed in a desktop version and a virtual box machine